Now, uh, when he talks about this group called uh, Antifa, this is, again, the president talking about a group that he wants to list as a terrorist organisation. Uh, this is what the president has had to say about this group, Antifa. We support the right of peaceful protesters, and we hear their pleas. But what we are now seeing on the streets of our cities has nothing to do with justice or with peace. The memory of George Floyd is being dishonored by rioters, looters, and anarchists. The violence and vandalism is being led by Antifa and other radical left-wing groups. Now, Rowan, uh, Richo uh, seared something into my brain when he had a go at us for saying woke too many times last week. But we were the only two people in the world who used it. And it did get me thinking, right? Now, a lot of people watching us will know everything about Antifa, but there's a lot of people who may have heard it but don't quite understand what it is. I gave a characterisation at the start of the show about what I think that it is. These are people who claim that righteousness is on their side and they will physically confront those whom they believe to be uh, racist, misogynist, etc., etc., etc. But when you have a look at them, they are uh, often built for battle here. Tell everyone about Antifa. What is it? OK, so it's a movement uh, that stands for anti-fascist or anti-fascism, and they sell themselves as being against fascism. Now, uh, fascism itself is something that you can debate about what is it and what does it mean, but basically uh, it's a tyrannical form of government. So they're saying we are against a tyrannical form of government. Unfortunately, uh, this is one of the most Orwellian organisations out there, in the same way that George Orwell's uh, Ministry for Peace was, in fact, the Ministry for War, and in the same way that uh, Orwell's Ministry for Truth was, in fact, a propaganda lying machine, anti-fascists are themselves the most fascist organisation around on the planet today. And I'll qualify that by saying, putting it in the context of, and we always say if you use the Hitler analogy, you use the argument, understand all that, but for democracy to fall, the only time we've ever seen democracies fall is when there is mob rule. And mob rule comes out, grows out of a movement where they take to the streets, burn things, destroy things, the brown shirts in Hitler's Germany. There have been plenty of other examples, the Bolsheviks and the Lenin Russia, Ru Russian Revolution, going all the way back to the French Revolution. Once you get anarchy on the streets, then your system of government can fall and... The, those determined to take over power hope to seize power through this. Antifa is no different to every other anarchist organisation. In fact, it's grown out of many other uh, anarchist organisations. Its sole goal is to create mayhem on the streets. That's its purpose. But it sells itself as fighting fascism. Now, unfortunately, and just look at those pictures, you can see how ludicrous it is. You mentioned earlier Andy No, friend of outsiders, he's often on there. He was mobbed by Antifa, beaten up. Andrew Bolt has been beaten up by Antifa. These people are thugs purely and simply. They use violence. They hide their face behind masks. They're, they are terrorists. They terrorise in order to bring down the establishment as they see it. But the problem here, Paul, is that we have now had a decade or two... And the interesting thing is, just quickly, all no, of please. these riots are taking place in Democrat-controlled areas, yeah. left-wing cities. So they claim to be fighting, Antifa claim to be fighting on behalf of, of the black community, but that they're not. That's not the case at all. Places like Minnesota have a black mayor, a black governor, black police chief. They had a black president for two, two terms. Uh, what is it that they're fighting for? They're actually terrorising the black community and making them feel they're oppressed. We know the death of, of George Floyd was horrific. That's a whole separate argument. It's disgusting. And the guy's been charged with murder. Hopefully he'll go down for murder. Mm. But what is happening here? We are seeing mob riots, the mobs being fueled on the streets because this is the tragedy. They think they are fighting some form of fascism. So they have been taught through the media, through the academic, through the universities, through the schools, and through Democrat politics. They have, we have seen from the moment Donald Trump got elected, we had comedians holding up a decapitated head of, of Donald Trump. We've had endless violence demonising against Trump and trying to portray him as some kind of tyrant. So these people think they are fighting against that. It's the most perverse and tragic scenario because people, good-meaning people, are allowing themselves to be duped by Antifa into thinking they are fighting against fascism when, in fact, all they are doing is promoting it. Yeah.